All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Tackle Tuesday video. Today's video, I'm gonna show y'all how you can go and pump ghost shrimp, which is one of the best baits for surf fishing. All you need is a ghost shrimp pump just like this and a little net to scoop them up. If you're interested in learning how to make a ghost shrimp pump, I'll link that video down below. Um, as always, today's video is sponsored by Fish Gum. Make sure you go check out his channel. Also got it all stocked up on the website. So you can go check out the website, order you some fish gum, stock up for the Pompano run. Coming very, very soon. Only a couple months away. Let's go ahead, jump right into it. All right, guys, when you're looking for these ghost shrimp, a telltale sign there's gonna be ghost shrimp around. As you can look on the beach, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see. We'll get down here, you can see a little better. But all this dark stuff that is all ghost shrimp poop. So if you get on the beach, you see a bunch of this. That is means there's gonna be some ghost shrimp out here. There is a ton of mounds. So these ghost shrimp dig down in the sand. They create these mounds that got a little hole right in the top of them. So you need your ghost shrimp pump. You can buy these at your local tackle store. I got a video on how to make one. I'll post that down below. You just wanna put it over top of that mound. You know, suck that sand out. A lot of times I like to do it a couple times. Sometimes those shrimp will be down deep. There's one right there. I like to keep a net on me. There we go. One ghost shrimp down. You know, pump a bunch, see if I can't load up on some. And not every hole is gonna have them. I think they're kind of like ants. They kind of go down in the sand and kind of make almost like a tunnel system. So you're not necessarily gonna get them every time. They're not, not always gonna be right below that hole. And sometimes they seem like they dig down deeper. Oh, there's one. This water is freezing. I just popped four out of one all. Four and one? Yes. Check it out. Dude. Got a quadruple. Beach bum getting it done. Got a quad. That ought to be a record or something. Yeah, if the water's ever dirty and you need ghost shrimp, I guess just come here and pump and you'll find some. Yeah. Oh, we got a double. Got a double. Always nice when you can get two out of one hole. These mounds are everywhere out here. And these ghost shrimp are not on every beach. I don't really know what makes them be in one spot versus another, but typically they are in Gulf Shores and the Fort Morgan area. And a lot of times they will not be over in Orange Beach. Got another double there. Again, I have no idea why that is. I don't know if it's something about the water or... Matt, do you have any idea why these ghost shrimps are not in Orange Beach? Well, they, they water, I mean, the reason that you kind of do better species in So Matt thinks the salinity in the water, they like a little fresher water, I guess. Because, you know, the real common in the bay, too. Right? Yeah. Check that one out, guys. Look at that arm on that thing. Is that one of those inch yeah. short looking ones? Or? Oh, just that big. Yeah. Big giant. He'll Probably pinch the crap out of you, too. I've heard. I don't, I don't have confirmed, but supposedly that's a male. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't confirmed? I haven't confirmed. Have you confirmed? <laughs> See if you can breed them. All right, it's like every pump now. Yeah, yeah I just pumped a double. That's I got a double there, too. A double, that'd be real. No wonder those guys had a five gallon bucket. Yeah. Trying to find a section where there's like holes right next to each other. There's one. There you go. About to have to go empty my pocket. I need to get a quad. Or a whatever five is. 
Quint. Quint. Yeah, I've never caught four out of that. Me either. That's, that's pretty impressive. I want to see if we can get you a trophy or something. Yeah. I bet these old guys like sell these on the black market or something. All right, guys. So now we're going to talk about hooking these ghost shrimp. You got to have this miracle thread. Some of the local tackle stores have it here. I think you can get it on Amazon. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. I just hook that thing through the head and then I'll loop it around and I'll hook it through the tail just like so. And then all this is like a nylon string. I just had to pick up some more. Just want to pull some of this string off. You just want to take it and wrap it around the hook and the shrimp. Oh, part of it fell off. They, these shrimp are super, super soft. So they will fall off the hook very easily. So this is going to help keep them on there. That way when you cast, you don't sling your bait off. I'm going to weigh it out a little bit for this one. Super shallow right in here. All right, as you can tell, super simple to get out here, pump these ghost shrimp. They're a great bait for surf fishing. You can catch pretty much any species on them. I haven't really froze them much, but recently I did freeze a little bit to save for a trip a few days later, and it did turn out pretty well. So if you got a chance and you can go out and spend some time and pump them, you can freeze them and save them for days when maybe it's rougher or the water's dirty and you're not able to get them. So I hope that helps you out, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss next week's Tackle Tuesday video. And until next time, y'all take care.